I'm going to make a pot on the wheel and actually it's going to be a pot that if you accidentally end up with a crooked lip because you didn't take the time to center it, it's a little fix on how you can make it look like you did it on purpose, okay? So I'm getting my speed up here, we're going to center the clay and, oh excuse me, mm -hmm. sorry, I'm very very thirsty, sorry. Have you ever had, had that where you're thirsty and there is no water? It reminds me of when I was picking rock on the farm a long time ago with all my siblings. There's 11 of us. And we would all be lined up in the field and we'd be filling our buckets with rocks and putting the rocks in the wagon. And we always loved when the wagon was full because that's when we were allowed to go and get water. And I remember one time my youngest brother who was a little young to be with us doing that while well, he was sitting by the cooler of water the whole time we were all filling our buckets and by the time we filled the wagon and went back and we're so wanting to have that water he had already <laughs> drank as much as he wanted and played and made some mud piles and um, the water was gone by the time we got back there so that was fun and he lived He's still alive. He's doing well. We were all very upset at the time, though. All right. Oh, good. I do have an uneven spot in here. A potter usually doesn't say that, but I, I purposely put a little bit of hard clay in the middle of this lump of clay so that I would end up with some unevenness. And I'm going to just shape this a little bit more. Do you see it wiggling a little bit? So some people, that would be enough to really drive them nuts. Some people, they don't care, and, it, and it's your preference, you know. Not every pot has to be completely symmetrical, and you see the unevenness because it's spinning on the wheel, but on your kitchen counter at home, it's not spinning, and you don't see it as much, but anyway. So there's a little bit of unevenness here. And in order to get rid of that, you just leave it sit for a while. And then after it's been sitting and drying for a little bit, it's stronger and can take a little bit of um, pressure. So I'm gonna show you what I'll do sometimes. I'll take some really skinny fish line. I think this is only five test and I'll take hold of it firmly and use it, hold it like floss, and then use it to cut some fun waves randomly in the surface of the pot, in the lip of the pot, so that nobody would know that you had any unevenness. And it's, again, it's one of those satisfying things to do. I'm able to just pull through here so easily and get these fun shapes to come off. There we go. Maybe one more. There. All right, and then with a squeezed out sponge, it must be, yep, it's in here. Don't want to leave any drips in the pot because I don't like it when the drips cause cracks in my pots. Oh, yeah, with the squeezed out sponge, we just clean it up a little bit. And you could even have fun reattaching these if you wanted to make it even more abstract, but I'm just gonna leave it. I like it the way it is. There we go. Thanks for watching.